person who's coming third, that's Thomas Mwadegu, actually beat John Murutu during the primaries. Mm -hmm. He's now third. Okay. So let's wait and see how this how these numbers will play out. But then, it's interesting, this is what, 45% mm. of the votes counted so far? Mm. 45. 45% of the votes counted so far. Joy? So this one may tip. Whichever way. Not I mean, it's 45. It, so you still have 55% to go. There's a potential to tip over. But that also, again, goes to... The, when you're looking at local politics, what we saw during the nominations seems to be carrying through till here. Because... Yeah. Most of these uh, incumbents Kabogo. who are flawed during the nominations are finding it difficult, even as independents was, to try and sort of assail and, and come on top of things. So Same with Kabogo, yes? Yes, and I have to give mm. it to Kenyan voters. Finally, we are learning to speak with, with our voice and making it heard. We are so not once being they said it at the primaries, mm -hmm. that's it. And then you insisted and came back on the ballot, they're saying it's fine, we will... Yeah. And then we at will least say they, the same let, thing we said. Yeah, they let your core supporters support you, but they go mm -hmm. ahead and do whatever they want to do for themselves. But <laughs> I really hope that the enamorment with the presidency will sort of fade as well. Because some of these races are more important for a local person than the national one. Because if you've got a good governor and an excellent uh, county assembly, uh -huh. you'd have a pretty good life where you are. Okay. But if you're enamored by the national and you forget the guys down here, then the guys down here are the ones who are going to really mess you up. So, well done to Kenyans. So, Thomas Madego is actually wow. fourth. Yeah. Eh, he's not even third. Nope. With the same 17%, but ah, he's yeah. fourth. <laughs> and you see, he beat John Maruto in the primaries. In so, this, this is an interesting twist. Mm. Okay, so we have been here for how many hours, Yvonne? Since eight. Yeah. yeah. 8 p.m., right? 8, 8 p.m. on air. And, and yeah, a number so. of other hours in, the, in this office. <laughs> This is how I am. No, I'm making a case, don't you? Okay. We're coming to the end of the year, so it's important <laughs> that I make a case for how many hours I have worked. Mm. So what IBC needs to do is call this election, mm. yeah? And then we can start transniting again for a Supreme Court petition. Mm. Oh. If but it comes I'm to not that. <clears throat> as, as Alex says, by noon today, we should have we a should pretty know. good idea where, where we're going to land. Yeah, don't give my boss ideas. He might suggest we stay until noon. <laughs> and I think Mr. Dingo <laughs> probably will... So maybe you want to get closing comments from your guys <laughs> then. From your guests then we can get okay. out of this today. So I think this is where we wind it up. I want to thank you very much uh, for keeping us company all night. I will say goodbye on the behalf of my panelists. Not just these ones, but also the ones that Linda hosted yeah. before. Ben also had a panel uh, that was uh, Franklin mm. Bett and Shem Ochuodo. We had uh, Barack, Barack Maluka, Maluka. We had Harrison Kinyanjui. We had Kamodo Waiganjo. Felix. We had Felix Owar and Lona Irungu. And the team at, at and, our City Center studio. And the team at the City Center studio. Yes, the journalist Martin Mutua. John Alanamu, John Alanamu Basset Boyuka, Gadara. Julie Masiga, and Patrick Gadara, yes. who and always keeps us in check. By the way, Patrick is a guy who will come on your show and he will tear you to pieces and he will come again the next day and it's all good. So we appreciate.